Hello everyone, this is Frost Princess Hannah here, and today I'm making a video about score attack and my method for it. So, most people in the top 10, um, they use a method that's based around using four, four boosters, either attack boosters or score boosters, and then one multi-attacker. And there's, I use something pretty similar, but what I use is instead three boosters, one multi-attacker, and an inflator. So I'm going to talk about how I use this method because to my knowledge I'm the only top player that does this. Um, I know almost every top 10 level player except for uh, Yokal and Nobu so I don't know if they use my method too. I'm not sure but of the other seven that I know none of them use my method so I'm going to explain how it's done because there's no videos on this. So here's some footage of me just doing this week's score attack. I'm just doing various attempts. I need to do it many times to get a really good one because it's very luck based. So I'm using Zero, who's at Sultimate level 7, Yelzebul, who's at Sultimate level 5, Elder Bloom, who's at Sultimate level 6, Nierdok, who's at Sultimate level 4, and Komatura, who's at Sultimate level 7. And ideally I want to get all these guys maxed out, but I'm not at that point yet. And so how the method works is First I want to go and get all of my yokai maxed out before I get to the second wave. So what I do is I'll go and make, I'll try to get two size 13s, pop both of those to knock out two, and then before the last one's there I'll go and get fear time activated so then I can get set up all of those up without killing any of these guys. So that, because if I'm using a multi-attack, I need to attack all three at once, so I can't knock out any of them when I activate my second fever time. However, I decided to reset because an important thing is is that what I want to do is flood the entire screen with nothing but Komashura and Miradox. I want their team much more Komashura than Miradox, so I can get Miradox around size 13 to 15, and then make two size 13 Komashuras with some left over. So a lot of the board has to be based around getting Komashura up as early as possible, filling his gauge. So it's very luck based because the sooner I get Komashura's uh, soul meter maxed out, the sooner I can go and just start flooding the screen with him. So if he ends up, like you can see on this one, there just aren't any Komashura, so I end up not really be able to get him filled up until like after I popped a bunch of other ones, which means that the screen ends up flooding with ones I've already got the soul meter maxed out on, which I'll just have to pop again until I eventually get Komashura. So I decided that was so bad that it just wasn't worth continuing. And that's often what you need to do. It costs a lot of money to, but it's smart to just not try to keep pushing every single time because this method requires a ton of precision and a tiny mistake will mess it up. However, if I'm able to get it work, so here's a good starting board because there's a pretty good number of Komashura. Um, it's not amazing, there's only 10, so I'm going to try to go and pop some other ones first, but... Ideally, I can go and get him all the way up so there. I'm able to get him to size 13. And so that's really good because now every single Komashura that spawns from out on will be part of the flood where I go and clear every single Zero, Yelza Bullet, and Elder Bullet. So this is all just common methodology for also for any kind of score attack flood, which is really the only way to get a good score in score attack, like top 10 level. So everyone does floods like these, only what most people do is they want to go and flood with get rid of all four of their boosters so that it's only Komashura, which is it's a lot more difficult and takes a lot more time because it's a lot more luck based. But me, I I want to flood with two different yokai, which means that I don't need to reset as often. And even then I still want to make sure that's like two thirds Komashura, one third uh Miradox. So I've got a pretty good run going here, but Ultimately, it was just not that there was just ended up being too many near boxes, so I wasn't really able to go and get two size 13 Komashuras up. So if you look, I was able to get pretty close, so then I was like, okay, I'll do this. But it needs to be a complete flood for my method to work, so you can see that zero there. Even though I decide to extend, I need to make it such the only non Komashura on the board is single big near box. So once I saw that I wasn't able to get size 13 Komashura as I reset. And the reason why it's important that Komashura is the only one that has small ones left is because how the inflator Miradox works is when I use this ultimate, it'll target the two smallest Wibblobs. So he'll target two size ones and make them grow. Because he's level 4, he'll make them grow to roughly size 8 or 9. And so 
If you get a... So as long as you pop two size 7 or bigger Wiblobs, then we'll automatically fill a Soul Gauge. So, if I go and use the Mirror Dox, then immediately after that, pop the other Mirror Dox and use them again, that will grow four Komashuras to size 7. Or size 8, eight or 9. So I can just pop two Komashuras, immediately use Komashura, pop another two Komashuras, use that, then pop the two size 13, well pop one size 13 Komashura, use that, pop one size 13 Komashura, use that, and then from there I'll have to use five Komashuras in a single feeder time, which does a ton of damage because there's three yokai at once. There's another one where just not enough Komashura spawned. So it, it's a lot of trial and error. That blue's iron on the right, that picture, that's basically what I look like when I'm playing it. Just lots of, ah, oh, this is so boring, and it's just so luck-based, but if I just keep going and get a perfect run, it does require a lot of precision. And then my internet stopped working briefly, so I go over there to go and see if I can get it working. And just run back in. Okay, now it's working. So, uh... Is, how many more tries do I have? This video's not gonna be too long. It did take me too many tries to get a decent one. And note that this, like, I did not get a good score on this even when I got a good run. I, but this is just supposed to be showing off what I do. So that you can go and try and copy it. My score this week, I'm ranked 8. I could, I could have done better, but it would have cost a lot. I probably would have only gone up, moved up two places because this week's Soul Terrier was strongest, but my Soul Terrier is not maxed out while my Komashura is, so Komashura would still do more damage. So this was just a bad week for me, there's not much I could have done about it other than desperately trying to get more Soul Secrets, so as time goes on I'll get more Yokai maxed out and be able to compete at higher levels every single week. My best score ever was uh, getting 4th place overall. Yeah, so this is finally- this is the run that I'm getting going, so you can see that there, I was able to get Komashura really going and a bunch of Komashura spawn, so I was able to use those. And so, theoretically, I want to go in like- so I want to clear everything except for Komashura and Miradox, but also I've got a good number of Miradox, so there's not too many of them where it's like, oh no, there's so many that I can't make two size 13s. So, I even popped a few Miradox, Miradoxes just to go and try to get some more Komashuras, and I ended up working out because I had so much extra time. And also something good is that my time's just about to run out, but before my time runs out, I actually get beaten. And that what the difference is that instead of only lasting 5 seconds, it lasts uh, 10 seconds extra for some reason. So that was really good that I got knocked out by that. So now I start, I finally get it. So I've got the two size 13s, I've got some leftover little ones. So I activate my boosters. Can I use Miradox? He grows to size 7. Well, he grows into like size 8. And I pop it immediately easily again. So there, now I can start using all my silk So I've got those two size 13s. First I set off my commercial, so that's one. Then I set off another one. And then something I wanted to do to show off, so I could have just popped the two sevens and gotten off two ones, but I wanted to show off something extra you can do if you get really good bonus boards. So I go and instead try to go and grow these two to both be size 13, so I can instead use six Komashuras, and I ended up running out of time not doing it. But that doesn't really matter because I wasn't going to beat my uh, best score anyway. I just wanted to show off what to do. So theoretically, so I could have done a better score than that if I just popped the two and used them, but I wanted to try to show what you could potentially attempt. So um, yeah, that's the method, and there I scored 100. 13,407,000. My best score this week was uh, 20 million. And that's because uh, I was able to go and get off. Uh, I was able to get off six Komashuras by growing one of them, by growing two of them to size 13 off of those ones that were grown to size 9. And also, that what I want to do is try to get my Miradox maxed out. And when he's maxed out, he grows to uh, Wibblops to level. To size, he grows up by like 10 or 11, so they'll be size 11 or 12, which means I only need to use one or two bonus balls or link one or two extra to them to get them to be huge. Which means I could potentially be getting seven Komashuras off of a successful run, which would immediately put me in first if I had other max out Yokai too, like my Elder Bloom. So I think that this method could potentially be the best possible one that we have right now. So if you want to do this method, you can use any inflator for this, but the important part is that inflators, they need to make it so that the Wibwob is guaranteed to be size 7 or bigger, so that when you pop two of them, they'll they'll max out the soul meter. 
So you can do this with any inflator, but depending on their level, it will be different. So if you're using an A rank inflator, such as Signaton, uh, Miradox, or Mimikin A, you need to have them at level two. So you can just use a soul single soul secret on them and then they'll be good to go. If you want to use Ray of Light, you need to get them to level four. And if you want, and so you'd probably want to use him if you have Liberty Nyan at a good level or if you don't have Komashuri yet, so you're using Liberty Nyan because then you can go and get the type Unity with Liberty Nyan. And so that's level four Ray of Light. And then if you want to use, uh, if you want to use, what, what what are their names? Machismo or Minochi, who also grow with up, they need to be, uh, their souls would need to be level five and that will make size 7 whip blobs and so you might want to use them with uh, Onikui, or not Onikui, Demuncher. Uh, Demuncher, he's going to be really good for uh, going against the Slippery and Mysterious Weeks if you're able to get his ultimate high, so it might be worthwhile to use Minochi or Machismo, although keep in mind that Signaton and Miradox have really good uh, HP stats, so they can actually help you stay alive, but Rayolite, Machismo, and Minochi, they're low rank yokai who have low HP and you could get your, see yourself getting knocked out way before you can set up the board. Like you saw already how hard pressed I was for time and HP, where my HP got knocked out. And that was using Miradox who actually has good bulk and has unity with Signaton which increases it by even more. So you, if you use those guys you might find yourself really hard pressed for time. Yeah, so that's my method. Feel free to try it out. I think it can do a lot of help for a lot of people. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you'd like, and I'll see you around. Bye-bye!